Welcome. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Liz with Stampin' on the Rock. This is the card that I'll be creating for you today. It has a great visual appeal, but it's real simple to do with the correct measurements. So I'm going to give you those measurements to help out. It's a quick Christmas card if you still need some Christmas cards to create, but you could so easily change the patterns of paper to any pattern of paper that you have and do the same idea. So it's very versatile design. So let me get started with that. The stamp set I'll be using for today is called Heartfelt Wishes. And I have real red cardstock. This is just an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock cut in half at four and a quarter. So that when it's folded, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm gonna go ahead and it's already been scored. Use the bone folder here. We love the bone folder. And then pattern pieces. Again, you could grab any pack of pattern paper you have, but this is the heart heartwarming hugs. So the nice thing about the pattern paper packs is you can just grab any three pieces in there, any three designs that you want. So you need three different designs. One is a three by three. They're all squares. Everything I'm going to cut today is a square. So you have a three by three square of one pattern, two and three fourths inch square in another pattern, and a two and a half inch square in a third pattern. Okay, three by three, two and three quarters, two and a half, all squares. And then you're going to need white squares, a three inch square, and a two and a quarter inch square. And then this is your um, background mat, obviously it's not a square, but four by five and a quarter. Okay, so that's your biggest thing is getting all your measurements, but they're all squares. Just go on your trimmer, cut up some squares, and then we'll get going. So I'm using the Happy or the Merry Christmas with the real red ink. Remember, just inking, and you don't need to press so hard in your ink pad because then you're going to get ink all over the block. If you're getting ink all over your clear block when you're stamping, you're pressing way too hard into your ink pad. Just tap, okay? And then I'm gonna put this down. And now I know where my words are gonna be. A lot of times I will stamp my words first before I attach all my pieces because if I go ahead and stamp my words and I haven't done anything yet and my words come out mushy or I did something crooked or I missed something, I can flip it over or grab another piece of paper. But once I have all the layers attached here and then I go stamp the words and I messed it up, now I've already have everything attached. So stamp first, then go ahead and assemble everything. So I'm happy with that Merry Christmas. So we're gonna go ahead and start assembling. The first one, we're gonna flip this over. And we'll put our first layer on. This one has lots of layers. Okay, that's our first one. And then I want to go ahead and build this. So this is my largest piece, my three by three. I'm going to put it kind of matching up halfway through at the top here. and lay that down, okay? And it's going to go past the white cardstock a little bit. That's okay, all good. And then my next layer is the white, is the, um, sorry, is the three by three white. And that one is going to go this way. Okay, so the next I want my two and three quarters. And that is going to go right on top, same direction. Okay. My next square I'm going to do is the um, 
two and a half. Yeah, the two and a half by two and a half. What I'm going to do with this, I'm going to take this two and a half by two and a half and this two and a quarter inch square. I'm going to put those together first before I attach it. I'll show you in a minute. Because I'm going to attach this way. And then I want to put dimensionals here. Pop this one up. So I'm going to stick some dimensionals. Take off those backings. Go ahead and tell me in the comments below, where's the oddest place you found these little um, dimensional backings? Because I have found them all over. All right, we're going to put that one on here. So that has a dimensional on. Pop that up. And then what I did is I took the um, tree punch, the pine tree punch, grabbed another piece of paper here. It's much easier if you turn it upside down so you can see what you're punching. Pop that out. And there we go. So like I said, the biggest thing is just getting all your squares. Get all those squares cut out. And you have your card. And there it is, guys. How was that? Quick and simple. And if you want, if it's a dark piece of paper, you can add white to the inside to make it a little easier to see when you're writing. And then that's your finished card. So I'm going to give it a few other tries with other pattern paper to see how different it looks with other packs. But hope you enjoyed that. And comment below what you think. Uh, or again, tell me where you found those dimensional backings, right? All right. Talk with you later. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.